Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Rap Robotics Winter Seminar 2024. I'm Audrey Irmel, International Product Manager for Habitwit at Saturn Union and what I'm talking to you today about is the hybrid wheat as a key crop and the proof of the concept all over Europe. To explain you why hybrid wheat should be integrated in your rotation in 2024, I will first explain about the physiology of the crop and specificities. Then I will talk about the heteroresist effect on the different pedoclimates. Then I will speak about how to manage this crop compared to a conventional varieties and to finish with we will do a near parent tour through the result from the last years. But first, what is habit wheat? You may know about a conventional variety, which is a self-pollinating plant and has two same sets of chromosomes. With habit wheat, you cross two lines and you obtain two different sets of chromosomes, which increase the variety flow. And you have this phenomenon we call the heteroresis effect. That is to say, a higher potential in the different physiological characteristic. Here, for example, the height, but not only, and we will see what. The heteroresis effect is expressed on different elements. You have a higher tillering capacity, a stronger root system, a better ear fertility, and also the straw is thicker. With tillering capacity, you have sometimes double or triple the time the number of tillers. Here is an example of Hivega in Austria compared to a conventional wheat. Then you have the strong system which is um, more developed with more radicals and more roots which are going deeper. With the ear fertility you have the example here in Hungary with for example SVKD and the new registration with longer ears and more green perspike which is um, also characteristic and the straw is thicker that is allowing less lodging. The heteroresist effect can bring stresses to habit with, for example, the resistance to abusive stresses, high temperatures, drought, poor soil adaptation and also winter. For example, this photo was taken in Slovakia last year. Only hybrid could go on very sandy soils where it allows to have wheat in the rotation. For sure, hybrid can go in poor and but also good soils, especially with the new generation. With the stronger root system, we have also a better nitrogen efficiency because the hybrid can catch the nutrient all around the root. And with the ear fertility and tilling capacity, you will obtain also more yield compared to a conventional wheat. As for conventional varieties, the genetic improvement was also made through the disease-resistant package. Here you have the proof of the concept with the series of photos taken in Spain last year, where you have the conventional check, which is compared to um, the different hybrids. So our reference Hibiza, the new replacer, Itony and then a variety that could be registered and you can see in colors here the pressure on the canopy with the leaves disease and you can see a difference of green showing the improvement year after year varieties after varieties showing the improvement. In the Baltic countries the wheat has an important place in the rotation about the area of 1.5 million of hectares of production for export and self-consumption but what about the agriculture and the wheat production with the different challenge of agriculture next year for example the climate change with more and more drought that will come in the next years but also the fact to feed the world and how about produce more with less inputs in a higher efficiency? Then hybrid wheat can be part of the answer with all the elements are already exposed to you. After telling you about the importance and benefits of hybrid wheat, let's focus a little bit deeper on the techniques, right? The main importance with hybrid wheat is to focus on the sowing. Why? Because uh, you need to welcome the seeds in good condition and to avoid heterogeneity with a direct sowing. 
then you need to have a good sewing bed. After, the sewing density is important. Why? Because you have an enormous telling capacity with habit width. Then, the sewing density is about 150 grams per square meter, that is to say 70 to 80 kilos per hectare, and it can be lower depending on the genetic, if you have a variety which has a very high tearing capacity, and it can be higher if you have a late sewing. Then you need to manage the aphids pressure in the autumn. Through the characteristic of habit width, what we recommend is to lower the inputs through the high nitrogen efficiency and also the good tolerance to disease in general. After explaining you how to grow habit width, let's go in the result, right? How we get such a network in that union? First, there is the breeder trials that are done by the breeder that give a first impression about a variety where a direct comparison with existing hybrid is made. Then, through application, we can get official and post-official trials with the level of performances in each country. For sure, it's important to study the variety in the country itself that's why the product management trials are necessary to know the level of performances in the country and to get a package of advice for each variety. In the Baltic countries where trial demo feeds were conducted, what we learned from the experience is that the knowledge of Himalaya, Hivigaya Sant, but also Ilux, which is a reference, and the compensation in difficult situation of sewing. Then you can see some impressive photos about the spikelets, the ears, and also the tillering. In terms of trials, what we get of knowledge is on two different densities, the result were about 103 to 106% and more, which represents a benefit of 2 to 10 decitons per hectare which influence directly the profitability with habit reads. This Baltic experience, we have the same all over Europe. From 2021 to 2023, I gathered the post-official, official, and also product management trials, we will see in details later, for four varieties you begin to know well now. First, Himalaya, the mid late very top A quality, was obtaining the result of 104 minimum to 115 in Slovakia, showing the good results compared to conventional wheat, to per, compared to the average or the Czechs. For Hivega, it's pretty much the same phenomenon where we have good results all over the North Europe. For Hyacinth, which is a little bit early with um, also good quality, we have the same phenomenon and even more with very good results all over central and even maritime zone area in Europe. With Helux, the variety really early for you, but um, also winter tolerance and very high quality, we have a good level of result about 107 to 112 in your country area which is a very nice level of performances, showing the very good potential in terms of field of habit wheat. Another example of the good result we are obtaining in habit wheat is the post-official and official trials near the Baltic countries. So we have in Poland the post-official results, which are showing that Ivega is reaching about 105 in Agritechnics 1 a1 and A2, which mean low and high phytotechnics, and um, in the top of the result. Here we have in Germany the two candidates which were applied last year, showing 114 and 110% with B and A quality, which are the main targeted quality in Germany and through the North Europe, which is really exceptional among 126 varieties. 
Hollywood story in that you know exists for about 30 years and the success story will continue. Now, in the official result, not only in Poland, not only in Germany and France, we have in Czech Republic and uh, here all over Europe treated and untreated condition best result for our candidates in the habit routes. And like Thierry Moitier used to say, the habit with breeder in that union, let's reach the top right corner in football. That is to say we want to do better and more of what is already existing in post-official trial and also official trial with the candidates. The target is to have 105% more each year in order to improve the variety flow in hybrid wheats. Then it promises a success story to continue at least the next decades. Ladies and gentlemen, I had the pleasure to show you that with the innovation hybrid wheat by that and union, you can have yield, agronomy, resistance to stresses, and a continuous breeding that promised varieties the next decades. And I hope that through this presentation you understood that this crop is a key crop that must be integrated in your rotation in 2024. Continue or just give a try. It was Audrey Mel for Satellion.